Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Loving My Home with Tammy. And today we're in my kitchen and I am going to be making a gingerbread Valentine house. I got this little house right here after Christmas for a dollar 18. And I thought, okay, well Christmas is over, so I can't make a Christmas one. So I said, hmm, I think I might could try a Valentine one. I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I'm not real good with icings and stuff like that. But I've got me a whole parcel of things over here that I'm gonna try putting on it. I was gonna take these little lollipops off the stick, maybe use those. I have some nerds ropes that I thought maybe I could line the roof with. I have some M&Ms, and I hate to tell y'all this, but this is my fourth bag, because I ate the other three along with the help of my husband. So, shame, shame, shame on me. I have some little blow pop hearts that I thought I could stick on it somehow. Don't know yet. I have some heart shape junior mints, and I just mostly wanted them for the small heart shape because I also got these chocolate little hearts that I'm probably gonna take out of the paper and stick on there. Still don't know for sure. Of course, I bought the ever famous conversation hearts and some little candy cane sticks because they were red and white. And I also got some icing. I got pink and red. So I'm gonna use these. I have some little tools that I can use to uh, screw onto the end of those icings, maybe to get a, maybe a little decoration. Many, many years ago, I took a cake making class at Hobby Lobby with my mom. And uh, every week of that class, we had to make a cake. We had to make our own frosting. And by the time, I think it was like a six to maybe eight week course, I was so sick of cake. I did not want to make another cake and I had not made a cake like that where I made the bread cream frosting and all that and I haven't decorated one since. So anyway, um, I also bought these little doilies and I'm gonna put that down on my little cake stand that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this little wooden cake stand and um, I'm gonna sit it on there so let's get to going on my Valentine gingerbread house. There we go. So now y'all can see all the disaster I make. So, okay, let's open up this cake box or this little gingerbread house box, not a cake box. And of course, since it was Christmas, it came with all these little Christmas things. It came with its own little bag of icing and a little bag. So I'm just gonna put these away. And now let's get out a doily. I'm just gonna lay that down on that cake stand. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Let's get this little house out of here. Oh, and here's a little tip for that bag of icing. And I guess you stick that down in the bag. Let's see if it has any instructions. Oh yeah, here it is. It tells you how to decorate and get the bag ready. And if you need any additional icing, it gives you a little recipe for that. So but anyway, I'm not gonna use that. I'll probably just use what I bought. So let's get that out of the way. And this is wrapped, so I'm gonna get a, a knife right quick or a box cutter. We'll just use these little scissors here. One thing I like about this is the little house is already put together. There we go. 
There's my little house on the doily. All right. Let's move all this trash out of the way. All right, what to do first? I have no idea. So, I guess what I'll do is I will start by getting my icing bag ready, maybe. No, I don't think I'm gonna use that. I think I'm just gonna use these pink and reds. So we'll get those ready. I think I'm gonna start by trying to do some little shells down here around the base. So let's see how well I can remember my class. Not too good, but it's cute. I think I might have should have put, cause this is a wood base. I think I'm gonna have to pull it up and put some plastic under that. So let me lift this up. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I don't know. Dog fight, cat fight. Miley doesn't want anybody playing with anybody. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna put some wax paper underneath. So let's try that. Get another doily. Get all my treats over here out of the way. And we're gonna cut out a heart and for underneath that to go underneath. I think that's gonna work because that will keep the icing from bleeding through. We're just gonna lay the doily on top of it. And then we're gonna sit the house back up here. Like so. Let me wipe up this before I put my arm all in it. So let's give this another try. know that a baker would hire me to do their cake decorating. And I think I'm just going to make a bead because that's about all it's doing anyway. Don't think it looks like anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. This icing don't go very far. Okay, there's that kind of tacky mess. So let's see, I was kind of thinking maybe these would look cute by the doors. They're kind of tall, so let's see if I can break them. There we go. There's that one. And there's that door. And I have a piece. So I'll suck on that. Got here. I've got these little 
little hearts. That one's broke, so I'm not gonna use it. Probably not gonna use all of those anyway. And I'm gonna change out tips. as a stick on for but we might can just stick these parts here around the bottom oh that might be cute yeah that looks cute there's that side so far i think i'll do a pink one on this side and white the door the little door a little bit and putting some icing behind the top of the candy cane so make sure it sticks to the house and doesn't come off okay so let's move these to the side My husband's home. Hi, honey. How's that looking so far? I have one whole line. <laughs> I'm gonna take forever. Okay, since this is taking a while, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna get this all done a little bit. And then I'll bring y'all back and we'll work on it some more. Now that I've got the roof done, I'm gonna bring y'all back and we're gonna finish it out. Um, these are all the M&Ms on the top. And I thought I would make a row down the middle with the conversation hearts. And I think I'm gonna stick with the white and pink. So I'm just gonna like put some icing and stack them like that like so. 
So let's do that right quick. I'm gonna run a bead of red down the middle. This is some tedious work, building a house. where they kind of want you to put like a little wreath that has like an indention. But I'm just gonna put one of these big hearts right here. I'm gonna unwrap it. It's just a chocolate heart. Now I'm gonna use this pink icing and I'm just gonna put a decent sized glob on there. gonna stick it over that little area. The icing acts as a glue. And so then around that, I'm going to go around it with my red icing. I'm gonna turn it so that I can get that done. better with my other side. This one's not cooperating with it. Okay. And then down the eave front of the house, I'm gonna put these nerve ropes down the front. Let me get my icing ready for that. something right here, but I don't know what. Um, I don't know if that 
that's it. Maybe a lollipop. I don't know. Let's see. I don't have anything left. I think I need to add another little conversation hearts on the end there in the bow. Let's see. I think maybe let's try this. stepping stone. We do one for the other side of the house. And now I think we are done. What do y'all think? I think for an amateur it turned out pretty cute. So let's sit the globe on it. And there we go. There's part of my Valentine decoration, all done. So anyway, I'm gonna clean up this mess. I'm gonna sit it out and we're gonna take a closer look at it. Okay, before I show you the preview, I came up with a couple of other ideas that I did. So I'm gonna let y'all see the finished product and how cute it actually turned out. Okay, y'all, that was my attempt at making a, a Valentine gingerbread house. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I had a fun time making it and decorating it, and uh, just like I do my home. So anyway, thank y'all so much, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.